Raider mother fucking nation. What it do? Real time Raiders back up in this motherfucker. And we back. We good. You know? I'm chilling today. It's been a long week, as always. We got motherfuckers in the comment section going crazy. We got motherfuckers in the world going crazy. All that shit. We about to go out here for week 15. Play these Cleveland Browns. And they are depleted. They got like 20 players missing. COVID protocol type shit. How do I feel about this game? How do I feel about the game? Uh, Y'all want the truth? Okay. I'll give you the truth. I'm going to ask y'all a question. Before I even get to the truth, I'm going to ask y'all a question. And I want you to go in the comment section and I want you to let me know. How are you going to feel if we lose this game tomorrow? Hmm? How are you going to feel? Even though, even, even the Derek Carr truthers, you know, it sucks that I got to draw that line in the sand. Because like I said before, in multiple videos, multiple of my past videos, I love Derek Carr, bro. I think he's a great dude. I think he's a good quarterback. But, I also understand something. I understand that enough is enough. I understand that I want to motherfucking win. And when I get into these comments, y'all really are the motherfucking Kardashians, bro. Y'all really are not, y'all really feel, y'all don't seem or sound like Raider fans. Y'all sound like Derek Carr fans. At the end of the day, if we win a Super Bowl, whether it's with Derek Carr, whether it's with motherfucking Nick Foles, motherfucker, we're going to be celebrating together as a unit. All the, you, we, we, we can have our disagreements throughout the whole season. All of that other shit is great. But... When we win the Super Bowl, if we ever win a fucking Super Bowl, we are going to celebrate together. We are divided at this point in time because you stupid motherfuckers don't want to let go of the past. You stupid motherfuckers don't want to realize that this man is not the one for the job. So, like I said, I'm going to get into the truth. You want the truth? <laughs> about how I feel about this game tomorrow? If we lose this game tomorrow, I am completely of the mindset. I'm, I'm, I think I'm locked into the mindset that Derek Carr does not need to be this quarterback no more or this team no more. Tomorrow, I'm giving I am giving you your test, DC. And that's a fucking shame that I got to give you a test against a depleted fucking Cleveland Browns team. I don't even think I'm testing DC. I'm testing you bitch-ass fans. Because you motherfuckers want to get in the comment section and run in your motherfucking mouth about all of this, all, about bullshit that don't even fucking matter. How you gonna say, oh, the all oh, the Raiders are losing because the fans are always talking shit? 
You stupid motherfucker. How long have you been here? Are you 14, 15, 16, something? What are you? How old are you, bitch? Because I'm 32 years old, nigga. Last time I saw my team in the Super Bowl, we got our asses beat. By John Gruden and the motherfucking Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I was a kid. You motherfuckers. Look, man. Like I said, man. DC is cool. Cool person. Cool dude. Good quarterback. All that shit. Maybe he will thrive somewhere else. But here... It's not happening. It's not working. You clearly see this motherfucker not do... Okay, when you watch other games, when you watch Patrick Mahomes, when you watch Justin Herbert, and these motherfuckers are running out the pocket, throwing fuck the ball down the fucking yard, 60 fucking 70 yards and all of that crazy shit, scrambling up the motherfucking field, picking up first downs. You remember, hey, you all remember DC when Jack Del Rio was here? That that um that first week when we played the Saints and DC was doing all kinds of crazy shit. He was running. This motherfucker was doing. He was getting hit, doing flips over motherfuckers, taunting, doing all of that shit. You remember that shit? Throwing fades to fucking Michael Crabtree in the motherfucking end zone for the dub. All of that. You remember that shit? You remember that fire, bro? Do you remember? Because if you don't, there's tape. You can go back and watch. That's not the same motherfucking dude that we got out there right now. So get that into your motherfucking head. And stop getting in the motherfucking comment section talking about, oh, the fans is just talking shit. The fans is talking shit because the team has been shit for 20 fucking years, you dumb fuck. That's why we talking shit. If you want to fucking lose, then, then fucking then keep losing and shut your fucking mouth. You getting what you want. But I'm a motherfucking Raider, bitch. I want to win. I'm tired of motherfucking losing. I'm tired of talking shit for this team when they go out there and let me down. So, I'm giving y'all the motherfucking test, you bitch-ass Kardashian fans. Let me give you, let me give you niggas a, a, a test. Let me give you niggas a test tomorrow. If this nigga loses this game tomorrow, what the fuck are you going to say? What excuse do you have then? Because I know if we come out and win this game tomorrow, y'all gonna be like, oh my God, you ain't talking shit about Derek Carr now. Oh my God, you ain't talking shit about, bitch. He, the motherfucker's gonna beat a depleted goddamn Browns team. What are y'all not understanding in y'all fucking brain, bro? It's logic in this shit. It's mathematics in this shit. It's not, it's not about uh, oh, motherfuckers is out here talking shit or we think we know how to run the team or all that. No, motherfucker, we want results. How many Raider YouTubers you know sit up here and talk shit to you all day about this shit, bro? We all come to you with facts in our own different ways. We all come to you with facts, give you the facts, let you know how we feeling about shit. So we can sit back on Sunday and react to the shit just for you bitch ass niggas to get in the comment section Acting like, you know what the fuck, you, you won't make a fucking, you, how many niggas out there talking about, oh yeah, I'm going to make a channel, I'm going to make, well bitch, make a channel, make a channel, reply, motherfucker, do what you got to do, do what you got to do, bruh, but at the end of the day, I know I'm standing on this motherfucking shield, and if my motherfucking team ain't winning, I'm going to speak on it, I'm going to say what the motherfucking problem is, of course, Derek Carr is not the only fucking problem. We understand that. I'm, I'm, I am 100% with you. He is not 100% of the fucking problem. But he's, he's, not, he's, not adding any, he's not adding any positivity to this shit. He is not a, a green, he's not a, he's not a green light in this motherfucker. He's not like, oh my God, like he's not Hunter Renfro. He's not like, damn, we need to keep that nigga. He's not like that. No. He's not. I'll say it. I will fucking say it. He is not. 
my value for Hunter Renfro right now is higher than Derek Carr's on God. I say it. I say it. I say it, nigga. I say it. I don't give a fuck this nigga been here for eight years, 10 years, 20 years. Hunter Renfro is more valuable to me right now than Derek Carr is. Straight up. From what I've been what I've been seeing for the last two fucking seasons, that nigga is way better. No, I, I got Hunter Renfro. That nigga needs to stay. He balls out. He actually wants to fucking win. Colton Miller. He actually wants to fucking win. There, there's pieces on this team that's dope that we can that we can keep. Max Crosby. You know what I'm saying? All that shit is dope. Like we like we like we got some dogs. We don't gotta blow the whole shit up. But trust and believe when we talking about our quarterback. Mmm. 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 Yeah, stats, right? Y'all gonna keep bringing up the fucking numbers. Y'all gonna keep bringing up these empty ass fucking numbers. What are the? Well, let me ask you a question. What are these? All these fucking yards. How do these yards translate to wins? Huh? When when are when are these yards gonna start translating? So fucking wins. Give me that. Give me that in the comment section. When when is that gonna happen with Derek Carr? We get it. He can get his yards. He can get his completions. All of that shit. But when is it gonna start equating to wins? You gonna say when Mark Davis leaves? Huh? We already know that. We, what, what are you gonna do? What the fuck are y'all gonna do if we lose this game tomorrow? To Nick Mullins and the depleted Cleveland Browns team. I'm, bro, I'm so fucking nervous about this game tomorrow, bro. <laughs> I'm not even going to hold you. Out of all the games that I could be nervous for, why am I nervous about this game? I'm nervous because I don't want to. Bro, if we lose to the Cleveland Browns after being, they are depleted. They ain't got no fucking body. They got Nick Chubb and Nick Mullins. If we lose... To these motherfuckers tomorrow. What are you gonna what are you gonna do? Mark's gotta go. He's gotta go. If we lose tomorrow, that nigga's gotta go. I, I don't wanna see, I don't wanna see a van. I don't wanna see a bowl cut. I don't wanna see nothing. You gotta go, bruh. Get your ass packing. If we lose tomorrow, no, I'm writing a fucking letter. <laughs> I'm gonna write a letter, motherfucker. You getting the fuck out of here. We gotta get you out of here, bruh. DC. This game is on you, dog. That's what I'm doing. That's how that's how real time Raiders is feeling. DC, this game is on you tomorrow. You better go out there and put up 300, 400 yards, three, four fucking touchdowns, and win this goddamn game for us, bro. You better look like something tomorrow, nigga. I don't. I'm not talking about. Oh, I'm not talking about a a two sixteen. A one touchdown day and they barely get the win. No, no, I need to see him convincingly beat this fucking team. To be the nigga that y'all talking about in the comments, oh my God, he's this, he's that. Okay, well, show me. Show me. Because I just watched the Chiefs and the goddamn in, in uh Chargers last night. And as much as I hate to say it, bro. No, no. DC is not on their fucking level at all. I don't give a fuck how long this nigga been in the league versus them. He is not better than them. Again, another hot take. Sorry, what you want me to say? I don't give a fuck. I watch the games. I pay attention to how these motherfuckers are playing. Derek Carr would have got his ass ran off the motherfucking building last night if he played either one of them quarterbacks. So trust and believe, boy. Trust and motherfucking believe. And it, 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 it just showed. He just got his ass whooped by Patrick Mahomes last week. The whole damn team went out there and got their ass whipped. If we lose this game tomorrow, we need to make a change. Immediately. There is no fucking wait to the end of the season. All that, blow this shit up right now. If we lose this game tomorrow, start heads need to start going. For real. For real. If we lose this game tomorrow, it's going to be bad. Look, I'm going to be here. I'm going to come back with this motherfucking reaction. All that, I'm going to be at the crib. All that, everything's good. But look, bro. DC, this game is on you tomorrow, dog. Straight up. There should be no fucking excuse. You better beat this team, dude. You better beat this fucking team. 
you better go out there and show me that you can motherfucking that you can be a starting quarterback for this team and convincingly stomp these motherfuckers out. That's what kind of pressure you got. That's what kind of pressure you got from me right now. Because that's what I got to see. You got to bounce back heavy. We've been scoring 15, averaging 15, 13, 16 points. Motherfucker, no. Go out there, put up 30. Go out there, put up 40 on these motherfuckers. Embarrass these niggas like how we just got embarrassed last week. They're, they're depleted. There should be no excuse. If we look, if we even look like we are having trouble with these motherfuckers, there should be, I don't even know what y'all talking about. I don't even, I'm not even going to listen to what the fuck y'all talking about. So, so trust and believe. DC, I'm putting this game on you, dog. That's, that's where real-time Raiders is at. You better fucking come through for us.